All right, welcome back. And now we're going to do another example, and this one involves a piecewise function. So, and this one involves ice boats. So it says, as we, uh, hold on a sec. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, okay, so top ice boat racers can attain speeds of up to five times the wind speed. Andrew is an intermediate ice boater, though, uh, so he attains speeds equal to only twice the, uh, the wind speed. Now suppose Andrew takes his ice boat out one morning when a light five mile per hour breeze has been blowing all morning. All Andrew gets, excuse me, uh, as Andrew gets his ice boat set up though, the wind begins to pick up. During his first half an hour of ice boating, the wind speed increases according to the function given um, here, okay? The second half an hour, the last half an hour, the um, speed of the wind is, his velocity is this. So the wind remains at a steady 15 miles per hour. <clears throat> so this velocity here represents the velocity of the wind or the wind speed. Now, Recalling that Andrew's ice boat travels at twice the wind speed and assuming he moves in a straight line away from his starting point, how far is Andrew from his starting point after one hour? All right, so now, how do we set this up? This is wind speed. His boat travels at twice the wind speed. So, the way we would set this up is one, we're going from zero to one. And so the integral to represent his total distance would be the integral from zero to one. And it would be two times V of T dt. So that's the way we set this up from the very start. Now, we have to consider the change in the wind speed after a half an hour. So this is where we're going to split this up into two integrals. So this is going to be, the first integral will be from zero to a half. And uh, that's going to be two times 20t plus five dt plus one half to one at two times fifteen dt. Okay. Okay. Now, now let's look at this. So I'm going to take the derivative from zero to a half, or the integral from zero to a half of what? It's going to be 40t plus 10 dt plus the integral from a half to 1 of 30 dt. Okay, now, now we've got to find the antiderivatives. So this is going to be what? It's going to be 20t squared plus 10t evaluated from 0 to a half plus now this is going to be 30 um, 30t 30t evaluated from a half to 1 okay so now what do I get well, here I've got t's in both terms, so at zero, this whole thing is going to be zero. So this is going to be um, 20 times one half squared plus 10 times a half minus zero plus 30 
Um, so actually, I could factor out the 30. So this will be 30 times what? 1 minus a half, right? And now I just have to simplify this. Um, so this is going to be a fourth, so 20 divided by 4 is 5. So I get 5 plus 5 minus 0 plus what? 1 minus a half is a half, so half of 30 is 15. And so the answer is 25. Um, now what were the units? Uh, miles per hour, right? So the, so the velocity is in miles per hour. So he traveled 25 miles the first hour of ice boating. So he, again, assuming he's going in a straight line away from his starting position, after one hour, he ends up at 25 miles away from his starting point. Have a great day.